Hi-ho everybody, this is Rob with Ear Scouts and we're here at Disney's Hollywood Studios to show you how you can have your best Disney World day ever using Disney Genie Plus. First things first, if you want to have your best day ever here at Disney World, it's best to do a few things before you even get to the park. So to show you that, I'm going to use the magic of editing to take you back in time to early this morning and show you what I did to get ready for today at the park. You ready? Let's go! Okay, that was supposed to take us back in time. Let's, let's try that again. Go! It's 6.45 in the morning. Why am I awake right now? Oh right, Disney Genie. If you're anything like me, this is the worst part of Disney Genie Plus. You gotta get up at like 6.45 in the morning if you wanna get a great first time slot. Do not pass go, do not drink your coffee, go directly to My Disney Experience. Make sure you've got all of your tickets linked up in there. You're gonna click on My Genie Day, then you're gonna click on Get Started, and then it's gonna ask you what things you're interested in. If you're a normal person, you just put in all the things that you're interested in, but we're not normal people. We are trying to get an amazing time slot first thing in the morning, so we are only going to pick two, two things that we most want to ride, because that's going to put those two things and those two things only at the top of our list when we go to make our selections. Seconds matter, so we want those at the top of our list. We have to scroll through and find the ride that we want. This morning we're going to be picking Tower of Terror and we're going to be picking Slinky Dog Dash because those rides are the toughest to snag first thing in the morning right now. And then comes the waiting game. Right around 6.58, 6.59, that's when you're going to want to start refreshing your tip board screen. Tip board screen is where you go to see the rides that you can book. I start this at like 6.58, 6.59 because I'm paranoid and I don't want to miss that very first second because I am telling you in the second that you click on the ride that you want and go to the next screen, a lot of times the time will have changed because there are thousands and thousands of people doing this at this exact moment. So you got to be super fast. But with any luck, boom, you'll have your first ride of the day and you can go back to sleep. Man. This is such a luxury. I love being able to get coffee at Rope Drop because normally at Rope Drop, like I don't have time for coffee. Gotta go get in the line. But when you got Jaden Plus, you can take time and enjoy getting a coffee in the morning. Another little bonus tip about coffee at Disney World. I actually bring my own uh, sealable thermos. The reason for that is I can pour the coffee in here and then I can seal it up and throw it in my bag, which lets me take it on the rides. Otherwise, you gotta finish that coffee before you can get in your next ride. So this is a way to skip that problem. First ride of the day, Slinky Dog Dash. The standby time is 55 minutes, but we are gonna skip that with the lightning lane. Here we go. Our day is already off to a great start, but do you know what would make this day even more amazing? I want you to imagine that you have a slot machine game on your phone. And whenever you pull that lever, the reels spin and ding, 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 a ride comes up. And if you want, you can jump right into the lightning lane, skip the regular line and get right on that ride. And that is the prize that you win for playing that game. Well, essentially, that is what Disney Genie Plus is. It is like a slot machine game where you win a ride without a long wait. If you think about Disney Genie as a tool that's going to basically give you what you want when you ask for it, you are probably going to be a little frustrated with Disney Genie Plus because usually the ride that you want doesn't come up on your first try. You've got to keep spinning and spinning and spinning those reels and eventually the ride you're looking for will come up. It just takes a little patience, but if you think about it as a game and not as a tool, I guarantee you, you're going to have a lot less stress and a lot more fun. Let me show you how it works. And now it's time for everyone's favorite cell phone based slot machine game, Disney Genie Plus. 
In order to play, just fire up the My Disney Experience app. Click on the tip board, then tap Edit Selections next to My Top Picks. Now you'll choose the three to four fabulous prizes you'll be playing for. Remember, no more than three to four because if you have to scroll through too many prizes, you'll probably lose all of them. Next, you'll see your three to four picks at the top of the tip board alongside the times you'll be allowed to claim those prizes. If those times all look terrible, and they probably will, you can spin those Disney Genie slots. All you have to do is swipe your finger down the screen and then you'll see the magical checking availability preloader. Next, you'll be presented with all new times for your top prizes, or they'll be exactly the same or possibly worse. But don't worry, you can keep spinning those Disney Genie slots until you get a halfway decent return time on the prize you want. Game not available in the 48 states without Disney parks. Some restrictions may apply. And boom, we just got Rock and Roller Coaster for 1020, which is in about 25 minutes. That took about five minutes of patiently refreshing, playing the slot machine game, but I won. I got to ride a ride in about 20 minutes as opposed to waiting three hours. So I would say it's definitely worth playing the slots for five minutes to save three hours of waiting. Now let's go ride Rock and Roller Coaster. So while we're making our way over to Sunset Boulevard, I wanna talk about my next Disney Genie Plus tip, which is to make sure you have a solid Disney Genie Plus strategy. You wanna prioritize the rides that are the most popular because if you wanna ride those, they're only gonna get harder and harder to score as the day goes on. So you wanna knock those out early if you can. So we're about three minutes early for our Lightning Lane reservation at 1020, but guess what? There is a five minute grace period that you get at the beginning and at the end of your reservation. So if you're here five minutes early, they will usually let you tap right in. So let's go do it. A few minutes early and we are off to Rock and Roller Coaster. What do you do, send them all with you? Wait a minute, I love that idea. How about some backstage passes? Rock and Roller Coaster, always a jam good time. Before we play those Disney Genie slots again, I want to share my next tip, which is that Disney Genie Plus can actually be a team sport. Think about a football team. With a football team, you've got one part of the team that comes out when they're playing offense, you got another part that comes out when they're playing defense, you even got a special guy who just comes out to kick the ball. Well, your Disney Genie Plus strategy can actually be a lot like that football team. Maybe you have somebody in your group who's an early riser who loves to be up first thing in the morning. That person can be in charge of your 7 a.m. getting that first reservation. Maybe you get really frustrated with that slot machine game on your phone and it is not that much fun for you. Well, guess what? Maybe your kids would actually have a blast playing these slot machine games. Now, how do you physically do that? One option for making the team thing work is to use the same device all day long. So you have one device that is logged into the master account that set up the Disney Genie Plus in the morning and you just pass that device around. Now, the catch to that is Disney Genie Plus really drains your battery. It's constantly using location services, not to mention that you're using your phone for other things all day. So I definitely recommend bringing along a battery pack. This is the one that I use, it's an anchor. What I love about this one is it's got a USB-C fast charge on it, and it's also got a regular USB. What's great about that is you can actually charge two devices at once. Option number two is to use different devices, but just make sure that your multiple devices are all signed into the same Disney account. That way you can manage everything just like you were on the same device. The third option, which I don't recommend, is technically everyone who has Disney Genie Plus and who is linked together with everybody else can manage things. The catch to that is, number one, is it set up correctly? Are they set up to manage everyone or just themselves? Number two, if it's a child account, it may not have the proper permissions to be able to manage everyone. So I think for ease of use and to make things uncomplicated, 
try using the same device or at least the same account across multiple devices. Now let's go spin those reels and get our next ride. And boom, that is what we're talking about. It is 10.55 right now. We just got a 10.55 reservation for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Let's go do it. There is the 11 a.m. line for Mickey and Minnie. When you see a line like that, it makes you realize that those 15 bucks might have been pretty well spent. Folks, take a ride on the train? Cool and kind of weird fact about Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, it is actually the first ride at Disney World to feature Mickey as a main character, which it's kind of crazy when you think about it. The sky is still kind of gray, hoping it's going to clear up in a bit, but let's go ahead and spin those reels and get our next ride. So it is now 1135. We just scored our next Lightning Lane reservation for 105. That's definitely not as good as we have been getting. The reason for that is as the day goes on, those top tier attractions are harder and harder to snag. That's why you want to grab as many of those early on as you can as part of your Lightning Lane strategy that we talked about earlier. Another thing I want to talk about while we've got some downtime is some Disney Genie Gremlins. These are basically little things that can make the experience less than ideal. The first Disney Genie Gremlin I want to talk about is the My Day view versus the tip board view. If you look on the tip board, you're going to see your Lightning Lane reservation that you have booked with a different time than you booked it for. You see there, there's like a little check mark next to booked at a time that is not the time we booked for. We booked for 105. We didn't book for 745. So what's up with that? This is actually showing you the time you would get if you booked it right now. It's not showing you the time that you booked it for. And that is very confusing and very frustrating for some people. Don't be confused by that. Click on over to my day, scroll down, then you will find your reservation right there with the actual time you have. You can tap into that and see, sure enough, you do have the 105, not that 745. Another Disney Genie Gremlin you might run into is when you're spinning those slot machine reels, when you're trying to get the ride to come up, normally it stays up at the top and shows you those first few that you've picked. But sometimes it has this weird glitch where it'll jump all the way to the end of the line, which is not what we want at all. The only way I have found to fix this is actually just to completely quit out of the app and restart it. That usually fixes that glitch and it behaves like you expect it to. Another Disney Genie Gremlin you should be aware of is something we actually saw this morning when we booked our very first Lightning Lane. You might have noticed that when we tapped on the Lightning Lane reservation, it was one time, but when we got to the confirmation screen, it was actually another time. The reason for that is in that split second that you tapped, someone else grabbed that earlier reservation, so you had to take the later reservation. It's frustrating, it feels like a Disney Genie Gremlin, but it's just how the system works. Just consider that part of the game, you gotta tap as fast as you can, and when you get it, it's a big win. There are actually all kinds of little weird Disney Genie Gremlins, and that's why I definitely recommend take a screenshot of every Genie reservation that you make. That way, if some Genie Gremlin pops up and eats your reservation, you at least have some evidence you can show a cast member, and they will probably fix it for you and get you on that ride at the time you booked. Well, enough about the Disney Genie Gremlins. Let's get back to the Disney Genie fun. The sun is out, it is a beautiful day now, and we've got a little bit of time before our next Lightning Lane reservation. It's not until 1.05. Now, usually I would say this would be a great time for you to go ahead and snag some lunch or maybe catch a show. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna check out some of the other cool Disney Genie features you might not know about. This is the perfect spot for me to show off our next Disney Genie Plus feature, which is the PhotoPass lenses. Ooh. How cool is that? 
It was kind of glitching out on my shirt, I'm not really sure why, but it is a super cool effect nonetheless. I love these PhotoPass lenses. That one in particular, you can actually only use when you are here in Hollywood Studios. Some of the PhotoPass lenses can only be used in a certain park, but it is good to know that even though you have to pay for Genie Plus to use them, you don't have to use them on the day that you are using Genie Plus. So you could actually get Genie Plus today and still use those PhotoPass lenses tomorrow and the next day here or in the other parks. So another fun feature in Disney Genie Plus, if you are a Disney Parks nerd or you're just a general nerd who likes to know stuff, there are these cool little audio stories. They are based on the location that you're in, so the stories available will change as you walk through the parks. You find them in the My Day view, so all you gotta do is click on My Day, scroll through, and you will see the audio stories that are about the area that you're near. These stories will teach you some cool things about the park, and they're just kind of fun, interesting knowledge to have. I like to do them when I'm waiting in a line. It's a good way to kill time. Either way, it's a good thing to know it's there. If it's something you're interested in, you can do it while you're using Genie Plus. We are five minutes early, but we now know we can go ahead and tap in to take a spin on the fastest hunk of junk in the galaxy. Let's go do it. So it looks like the standby right now is at about an hour and 20 minutes. And we are four minutes early for our lightning lane. You look at my fine fur As we agree, you let us use the ship. Millennium Falcon Smugglers Run checked off of our list. The only other really hard to get attraction we have left here in Hollywood Studios is Tower of Terror. And while we were in that lightning lane line, which actually lasted about a good 15 minutes, we did manage to snag a 215 for Tower of Terror. I really didn't think we were gonna get that one. Every time I refreshed, it said none available for the day, but it just goes to show with enough patience, about 10 minutes of patience that time, you can in fact snag those lightning lanes that appear to be gone. The line today for Tower of Terror is clocking in at 120 minutes. That is massive. Are you checking in here? I, I've heard bad things. I'm just saying. Well, we have checked out of the Hollywood Tower Hotel and it was delightfully terrifying as always. It is now about three o'clock and we have managed to do every top tier attraction in this park that is available on Genie Plus. There's still about six hours of park time left, so we could definitely use that to ride Rise of the Resistance, which isn't on Genie Plus, and all of the sort of smaller rides here at the park that are frankly a lot easier to grab lightning lanes for. We could also see some shows. We could do all of those things, but what we're gonna do instead is show you another Disney Genie tip, and that is the Disney Genie knows how to hop. So as we were walking out of Hollywood Studios, I was playing my favorite slot machine, Disney Genie, and I landed us a Lightning Lane reservation in just under an hour, all the way over in Magic Kingdom. That's right, Disney Genie can park hop. And if you have a park hopper ticket or an annual pass and it's after two o'clock, you can park hop with the Genie. So let's go do it. We are here in Magic Kingdom, our second park of the day, using that same Disney Genie Plus reservation. And that brings me to what I think is the best tip in this entire video. Honestly, if you only take away one tip, this is probably the tip you should take away. And that is, there are two parks in which you really need Disney Genie Plus. That is Hollywood Studios and Magic Kingdom. So a lot of people would tell you, 
you should get Disney Genie Plus on those two days when you do those two parks. But if you are park hopping, if you have a park hopper ticket, you could still get the two days at those two parks. But what you would do is get Disney Genie Plus on only one of those days, do all of your big ticket attractions like we are doing in this video, and then your second day, you don't need Disney Genie Plus because you're doing all the things that you didn't really need to skip the lines for. Things that are sort of smaller draw attractions, things that are not, as they call, the e-ticket attractions. You do those on day two. Again, best tip, use it in these two parks, but do it on one day. So we are headed over to our Lightning Lane reservation at Big Thunder Mountain, and a funny thing happened. We got a message that our Lightning Lane reservation had been updated. The reason is that the ride went down. What you get instead of your Lightning Lane is basically a free Lightning Lane pass. And that's gonna allow you to have two Lightning Lanes at once because you have your regular Lightning Lane that you can book now because that one freed up and you kind of have a bonus Lightning Lane that you got because you lost the ride you booked. So basically this is how this is gonna work. We've already booked another Lightning Lane for our regular Lightning Lane. I just got a Pirates of the Caribbean a little bit later in the day so that I could show you that we can do two at once. So Pirates is booked for like six something, I think. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go to another attraction that we don't even have a reservation for. We're gonna go to Splash Mountain and we're just gonna scan in like we have a Lightning Lane there. And because we have this bonus reservation, theoretically, it's just gonna work. All right, let's see if this works. Boom. Well, that was easy peasy. We didn't even need a reservation. We just tapped right in and it worked like magic. <laughs> Woo! Is there anything better than riding Splash Mountain? when it is hot as heck outside? I don't think so. While I was in that line, I discovered that there was a really sweet Big Thunder Mountain reservation that opened back up at seven o'clock, which is my favorite time to ride Big Thunder. It is the best at sunset. So we have a seven o'clock lightning lane now for Big Thunder, which meant that I had to cancel the lightning lane that we had for Pirates of the Caribbean. Not really much of a tip, but it is good to know if you see something you want instead, you can always cancel your existing Lightning Lane reservation and book a different one. We've seen one of the ways that you can have more than one Lightning Lane reservation at a time, and that's by the ride going down and you sort of get this special fancy Lightning Lane that you can use just about anywhere. But there is another much more common way of getting a second Lightning Lane reservation at the same time, and that is waiting two hours. When you have a Lightning Lane reservation, you are allowed to book another one as soon as you have used that one, or when two hours have passed since the moment you booked that reservation. So since we booked our Lightning Lane around 7.05 for Big Thunder, that means that in two hours from when we booked it, which is gonna be like around 6.30, we're gonna be able to book another Lightning Lane, and we're gonna have two lightning lanes at the same time. And that is definitely a strategy you should consider employing, especially if you're gonna stop to like have lunch, for example, or maybe you're gonna go back to the hotel for like a break in the middle of the day. You can go ahead and book that later lightning lane for when you're gonna come back. And then when you come back, you'll before you even use that lightning lane, you'll be able to book a second one. So be sure to use that two hour trick to your advantage. We got about two hours to kill. I would say this would be the ideal time to go ahead and wait in that massive Jungle Cruise line because it's gonna be super hard to get one of those Lightning Lane reservations before dark. And Jungle Cruise is definitely a ride you wanna do during the day if you possibly can. So while we're waiting on our next Lightning Lane, let's go wait on Jungle Cruise. Job is so easy that even a 
one of the all-time greatest Jungle Cruise rides I've ever had. That skipper was amazing. Having a really great skipper makes a difference between having a good Jungle Cruise and an amazing Jungle Cruise. So I wanted to give you guys another tip about park hopping with Genie Plus. So unfortunately, when you are in your second park, I have talked to various cast members about this. They confirmed that this is the case. Uh, hopefully Disney's gonna do something about this eventually, but for right now, that trick where you edit your selections and you only see those at the top of your list, that only works in your first park. Once you hop to a second park, you can no longer use that trick because when you try to edit your selections, it will say that you don't have a park pass reservation for that park for that day. Now you can still book the Lightning Lane, you just can't edit your selections the way you can in your original home park. There is, however, a workaround for this. All you need to do is pick the one ride that you really, really want to focus on. Go ahead and choose that ride at whatever time is showing. Select your party, which you will have to do because you are not in that original setup in your home park. You do have to select the party again. And then it's going to show you the confirmation screen with the time. If you don't like that time, just tap back out, tap back in. This is essentially the same thing as refreshing the old way, but here in this park, we're just gonna have to tap in and tap out, and that will refresh the time for that one ride. Now you could, of course, refresh the whole list and scroll through, but honestly, by the time you get down to the ride you want and tap through and set your party, you're probably gonna lose the time that showed up anyway. So I definitely think this is the better way to go if you're trying to really focus on getting a good time. And we were pretty successful actually. We actually got a lightning lane for right now for Pirates of the Caribbean. I don't know if you should prioritize Pirates of the Caribbean in your Genie itinerary, but there is one really cool thing about using Genie Plus on Pirates of the Caribbean. And that is the lightning lane for Pirates of the Caribbean has a feature that does not show up on the regular queue. And that is the famous stalemate chess game. If you don't know what I'm talking about, once you go through the queue, you will see two skeletons playing a game of chess. And famously, if you study their chessboard, they are locked in a stalemate for all time. This is kind of one of those cool Easter eggs that lots of people know about, but you can't actually see this in the regular queue. You have to use Genie Plus Lightning Lane in order to see it. So let's go check it out. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. It is really, really, really dark. But right here at the end of the Lightning Lane queue is the famous chess match. Two skeletons locked in a stalemate for all time. I did speak to a cast member and they said, if you don't have Genie Plus, you don't have access to the Lightning Lane, if you ask nicely and they're not crazy busy, they will probably let you go over into the Lightning Lane to check out that awesome chess game that we saw. So even if you don't have Lightning Lane, you can probably go check it out if you're nice to the cast members. So we still have one more Lightning Lane already in reserve right now and that is for Big Thunder Mountain. We set this earlier tonight to be right at sunset because, oh my gosh, y'all, if you're gonna ride Big Thunder Mountain, the perfect moment to do it is at sunset. But before then, I'm gonna leave you with one last Disney Genie tip. And that is to not let Disney Genie convince you that he needs to go to bed early. And what I mean by that is, as the night goes on, more and more times when you look at the Disney Genie Lightning Lane list, it's going to say no longer available, no longer available, no longer available. Folks, the Genie does not sleep. He is up for as long as that park is open. So just keep using those tricks I showed you. Keep refreshing. Even when it says no longer available, sometimes when you're lucky, you can still snag one of those lightning lanes at the last minute. 
Well, we are gonna go check out this amazing sunset on Big Thunder Mountain. I hope you guys enjoy this footage. Until next time, don't forget to think happy thoughts, everybody. We'll see you again real soon. And now let's go ride Big Thunder. Hey.